finally made it down here to Port of Kimberling. Got checked into the campground on the water. Not quite 8.30, so about as quick as I can get down here in a reasonable amount of time. Anyway, glad to be on the lake. Um, gonna spend some time driving around this morning, see if I can't find any schooling fish. I might be a little bit late getting down here. I was hoping to get down here a little bit quicker, but man, I did the best I could. So, uh, gonna hit several coves and creeks here within a couple miles of Port of Kimberling here and see if there's any schooling activity this late in the morning. Um, just kind of look around and get a feel for some different areas in this part of the lake. Figures I put the GoPros away because of the stupid rain and <laughs> I get something worth showing finally. Shouldn't have set the hook on it, but I wanted to see what it was. Table rock stud. That's what I need to win a tournament with is a bunch of those. We probably won't set the hook anymore today, but that was just on a little half ounce wobble head with the menace grub on the back and about, oh, I'd say seven, eight foot of water on kind of a flat shelf rock pea gravel mix. That was encouraging. All right. Midday update, it's two o'clock on Saturday, our second practice day, and that wind is howling out there on the big water. Man, this little jet boat, I love it. I've had it on Lake Mille Lacs. I've had it on the Mississippi River. <laughs> I've had it on Lake of the Ozarks, Table Rock, Truman, uh, but it is getting tossed around like a top right now, so. I'm all the way in the back of a cove here, not too far from Kimberling. <laughs> and uh, thank one, thank goodness I replaced the battery because uh, the trolling motor is doing a lot better job and actually it's doing great. But even getting back just a mile to the takeout in these waves is gonna be about a 15 mile an hour process in this little jet. So fishing is kind of like last weekend when I was here I caught a couple early I caught that one good large mouth and then had another good small mouth pull off of a swim bait and then caught a couple of the little ones but it's kind of like last time gotten fairly tough midday um, I tried to fish the wind with a jerk bait trying on something different hitting a lot of bluff ends um, some shelf rock, deeper main lake stuff, because every cove and every pocket is just getting pounded like I thought it would be, and that's probably where a lot of the catchable fish are. So um, I'm afraid tomorrow I'm just gonna have to, to suck it up and get back in the coves and the pockets with everybody else and try and do something a little bit different. Well, those spots are looking better and better all the time on the bridge piers, so I'm hopeful that uh, you know I can get a limit there and. Even if I just get you know a limit of those, if it's 12 pounds and I get two good large mouse like I've been catching here last weekend, the one today, you know, 15, 16 pounds, I'd, that'd be just fine. Yeah. So fortunately, the wind's not supposed to do this tomorrow. It's supposed to switch back out of the southwest, five to 10, and be a little bit more tolerable. But boy, right now this northwest wind, 15 plus, is is beating this lake up and the and the boat. So. I am taking a break, back of a cove. I got some work to do uh, on lures and then looking at the map and kind of reset and get a bite to eat and uh, come up with plan B here for the rest of the afternoon. All right, we ought to finish up part two of the uh, practice video. Um, you saw the one good one I caught early and uh, of course, I didn't set the hook on too many more after that, but I didn't have too many more opportunities either. So, spent a lot of time trying to find some different things, a little less obvious. Um, spent a lot of time fishing the wind, throwing a lot of jerk baits, and caught some little ones, but didn't do very good. So, um, 
if nothing else, I think I've eliminated a bunch of stuff yesterday that I had in the back of my mind that I was thinking about. So it wasn't a terribly good practice day by any means, but it'll help me focus on, I think, what I found last Saturday and I can get that other stuff out of my head. So I've got a game plan. I'm going to start at the piers this morning. Uh, I'm not going to mess around. Um, it was a pretty tough bite yesterday, so if I can get a couple off the bat early and maybe a couple more later if necessary, um, I'm not going to play around. I'm going to go straight there with the jerk bait and see how we do starting off. So anyway, and the uh, tournament starts next. It didn't dawn on me till just now, but that may be a heat thing with those concrete pillars being heated by the sun all day. The water's 53 degrees. I don't think the fish are there. If they are, they're down way deep. But I'm betting you as that sun beats on that concrete throughout the day, it warms up. That may suck the fish in and bring them up a little bit like I caught them last Saturday later in the afternoon. So I'm not going to die here. We're going to move on.
All right, midday update. It's not pretty. <laughs> These high bluebird skies and this wind and this high pressure, I have not figured them out yet at all. So it's 1.30. I've just got the one in the boat, one spot on a pier, apparently by himself. It's, I got two hours left before checking at 3.40, so I'm going to just live and die on these piers this afternoon. I'm hoping the sun coming out nice and high. I'll warm that concrete up. Water temperature is now up to 54.7. It was 52 this morning, and that's that's the best I got. So live or die uh, on these bridge piers to see if I can't scratch out four more. Rough day, but it is what it is. Got to learn how to fish these clear lakes when it's bright and sunny and high pressure. But we'll keep trying. Glad to have two. Well, that is a wrap for the famed Table Rock Lake. <laughs> as good as it was last weekend, as bad as it was today. Doggone it! Uh, I did not adjust to what the fish were doing, uh, and that's. I've had that issue on these high bluebird post cold front days, high pressure, and I just did not adjust right. Um, things that were working last weekend did not work this weekend. There was the fish had moved up on the beds, but I couldn't catch any of them. I just spooked them. The males were up there. And the other fish looked like they were just suspended down deep in the middle of the creek channels. I could see them on the graph, but I'll be danged if I can figure out how to catch them. I just don't have a lot of experience fishing 35, 40, 45 foot deep. Um, like you probably should learn how to do on this clear water lake like this. So, um, And the, the bridge pier spots, I don't know if they reacted to the high pressure as well or what, but they, they bailed as well. I squeaked out one at 1230 and got that large mouth at about 330, 10 minutes before weigh-in um, on the same pier. And uh, boy, it was just tough. But kudos to those folks that know how to fish this lake and and adjust these conditions, you know, maybe super light lines, split shots, I don't, I don't know, but uh, definitely got more work to do. But anyway, still a great day. Had, uh, had a lot of fun, a little frustrated after the practice I had, but that's part of it, so take the good with the bad. So appreciate everybody watching and uh, getting ready to head to uh, Palm de Terre for their stop number four. We'll see y'all later. Thank you for watching.